Welcome to Scopus, a database created by Elsevier. You can create an icon for Scopus and Saival. Saival is another database linked with Scopus, but we will see this other database in another video. As you can see, there are three fields of research. Let's get started with a research by document. You can write some keywords like microsatellites and physics. As you can see, there is the M. Uh, it's an operator boolean, and there are also like OR and NOT. And you can see all the list of operators in the tool HELP. There are also proximity operators like PREVIEWS and WITHIN. So now I begin my search. I have a number of found results and some documents are in open access and others are not because Scopus is not made to give you all the full access documents but to give you some palmares in your research area. You can filter your research by year but also by author name, by subject area, etc. I suggest you to click on certain cited by IEST to see the most quoted document in your research. As you can see, uh, the most important and most quoted document appears like this. Number one, number two, number three, number four. Now, we will see an analyze search result. If I click here, I will see many graphs to illustrate your research. We will see a graphs um, by year, so the evolution of your subject by year, uh, but also by source, that means by journals, also by author, by affiliation, by country, by type, etc. So now um, let's come back to the home page to proceed by your research by author. You just have to write the last name of your author and also to select the good profile because sometimes there are many profiles so you have to select the good one. You click on it and you will see a detailed profile of your author. So his number, um, his documents, his citation, his hash index. So the proportion between um, his document and his citation. You will see also the list of his published documents, um, his main co-author, etc. So now let's move to the home page. And uh, finally, to proceed by a, a research by affiliation. It could be a laboratory, uh, establishment, or groups of establishments. For example, I'm looking for University of Tokyo. And as for the profile author, I have a detailed profile of this university. So the number of documents published by this university, the number of authors. I can click to see the list of the main authors. So you can see that Scopus is a very complete but also complicated database. So I suggest you to see all the help and tutorials to guide you uh, all along your research.